there, Parker Reed here, and welcome to PR Media, your home for everything movies and music through my eyes. And today we have a review of the brand new 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray edition of David Lynch's Mulholland Drive. A dark-haired woman is left amnesiac after a car crash. She wanders the streets of Los Angeles in a daze before taking refuge in an apartment. There she is discovered by Betty, a wholesome Midwestern blonde who has come to the City of Angels seeking fame as an actress. Together, the two attempt to solve the mystery of Rita's true identity. The story is set in a dreamlike Los Angeles, spoilt neither by traffic jams nor smog. Going into this review, I've never seen Mulholland Drive before, and I haven't seen a lot of David Lynch films either. I was mostly interested in watching this because it's the first ever 4K release from Criterion, the great boutique Blu-ray company, and they also put out DVDs, but this is their first ever 4K release. So I was incredibly interested in watching the movie, but also to check out this release to see what Criterion does in the 4K format. And to start things off, I really enjoyed the movie. It's a bit confusing upon the first watch, but in true David Lynch fashion, it improves with multiple viewings, and this movie does make a bit more sense after you watch some explained videos after the fact. So I would recommend the movie, but would I recommend this new Criterion Edition 4K release? Let's find out. If you decide to pick up Mulholland Drive on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray in the United States, there are a couple different versions to pick from. We have the standard edition's Criterion release you see here, and there are some expanded sets available as well. On the cover here, we have some classic poster artwork, as well as the Criterion logo. On the back, we have some information about the movie, its technical specs, as well as what special features are offered. Here is what the spine looks like. And everything is housed in this slip cover you see here. It's not a slip case, more of a hard cardboard cover. And on the inside, we do have a bit of a digit pack with that blue key. Open it up, we have some more artwork. Then you open it up a little bit more, we have the cowboy. On the left, we have a 4K disc, and on the right, we have a Blu-ray disc. Here is all the artwork on the inside of the release. And then this Criterion version does come with a little booklet with some interviews, some information about the movie, some still images. Just a cool keepsake to have if you are a big fan of this film. For visuals on Mulholland drive we have native 4k and this is in 185 by 1 aspect ratio so it's almost full screen but just with some small black bars on either side to put it plainly the visuals on Mulholland drive are okay in my opinion this movie is very grain heavy and especially so for one released in 2001 but with that grain does come a lot of detail and there are quite a few soft shots in this as well where it looks like dvd quality that's probably true to the source material and they can't do much with that but i wasn't blown away by the detail on this disc whatsoever i do think the true hero of this disc is the HDR, the high dynamic range. There's a lot of scenes at night and this really helps the detail pop in those. And the bright lights of Los Angeles, which eventually dim towards the latter part of the movie, they look phenomenal in this movie as well. The first scene that shows Rita looking down towards Los Angeles was really breathtaking and blew me away, but overall I thought this was just an average to slightly above average looking 4K picture. For audio on Mulholland Drive, we have a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 mix. This is new for this release and I thought it was pretty good. Mulholland Drive is not a about the audio spectacle whatsoever. It's more so about the visuals and the storyline, but I think this audio track does its job. You can usually hear all the dialogue. Sometimes having subtitles would benefit you because some of the audio is a bit under where it should be. But overall, the score here really immerses you, and I think it's a solid mix. Not the best one I've heard in a while, but it is solid nonetheless. So would I recommend Mulholland Drive on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray? I'm going to have to say yes. This is a wait for a sale title. I waited for a sale, which was the Criterion sale that had it be half price on Amazon. I got it for about $25, but don't pay like 35 or 40 bucks for this release. That's why I'm a little bit nervous about 4K Criterion releases. I don't want them to be so expensive that they price themselves out of the market because if they're charging 45, 50 bucks per release, it's gonna be hard for people to buy them and not just wait until like the next Barnes and Noble sale where they can get them for half off. So if you can get this disc for 25 bucks like I did, I would recommend it, but don't pay 30 or 35 bucks. It will come back down, and then I would definitely recommend picking up the 4K Criterion Edition of Mulholland Drive. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw here, you can check us out on Facebook or Instagram. And like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose. My name is Parker Reed. You've been watching PR Media. Keep supporting physical media, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Silencio. This is all an illusion. I want to know who you are, don't you? Where's this going? All the drive. It's been a very strange day. I'm getting stranger.